Hi, it's the Moonlit Beauty again, and today I have a book haul for you, which will be my first ever book haul. So wish me luck. Okay, so I have a book haul because I got taken to the works. Well, I went to the works for like the first time ever yesterday. So yeah, well, Mum says that I went when I was little, and she took me there, but. I can't remember anything, so, yeah, it was the first time that I can remember, um, because it's, like, quite a while away, it's, like, I would go, I would have gone, like, ages ago, because loads of people recommend it and stuff, and, like, say, it's so cheap and stuff, but I've never really believed them, so, <laughs> so, yeah, um, and we went into Southport yesterday, because we live in a small like, little villagey town thing. So, it's like miles out of the way of everywhere. When I say miles, it was about 50 minutes. It's about 50 minutes away from Southport. So, yeah, about, about an hour. So, yeah, we went there because Grandad needed a present and the works were there. So I said, oh, well, I'll just pop in. And, oh my god, it's, I got like six books for a tenner. I'm still trying to comprehend how cheap that is, that is, I think I might be in love, I think I might marry the shop, <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, okay, let's get on with the book haul then, okay, so, the first, ugh. okay, so there were three books for five pounds, so the first three that I got was Pretties, by Scott Westerfeld Specials by the same author and Extras and these are all part these are all part of the Uglies series which I also have Uglies because that was like I read it ages ago and I've been dying for the other bits of the series like the other three books and they've always been too expensive and I got the whole series for five pounds. I got three books for five pounds. One book was more expensive than that. The first book was more expensive than, than the last three. So yeah. <laughs> and they're really ugly books. Um, but the other reason that I don't know now love the works is because although they are really ugly, like I just said, I got the first one the old cover and they have just redone all the covers and they're still pretty ugly so it doesn't make much of a difference to me because they're all still really ugly but I wasn't going to pay out for the US versions because I'm cheap <laughs> so I got these in the works and they're all the same covers now and then they actually, the spines look really pretty on the bookshelf, like if I show you how they look, like they're really colourful, yeah. So I just, yeah, <laughs> I've been waiting for ages to read the next ones and I actually didn't know that extras wasn't about the same characters, but yeah, I'm still pretty eager to read them. I'm definitely dying to read pretties and specials because I read Uglies like oh, ages ago when I finished The Hunger Games and I finished The Hunger Games about two years ago something like that so yeah I'm I cannot wait <laughs> okay so the next two books I got from there also on the three five pounds one were Shiver by Maggie's if I'm wrong about that, please correct me, because I'm probably wrong. So I got Shiver and Linger, also by the same author, obviously, because these are the first two in the Wolves of Mercy Falls series. I think it's called that. I don't know. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. So... Yeah, I got the first two in these in the trilogy, which I am also super excited about because everyone's already read them, apart from me. I don't know why I'm so far behind everyone else. Like, 
I don't know. I read like two books a week or something like that. So I don't know why I'm so far behind everyone else. I don't even read like books that no one's ever heard about before. I read quite, you know, popular books. So I don't know why I'm so far behind everyone else. I still haven't read all like the Mortal Instruments series and um, the Fallen series and the Hush Hush series and the Iron Fate series. I haven't read. Yeah, I'm really far behind everyone else. <laughs> so I got these. I was going to get the third one because that would be a whole series for five pounds. But I didn't because I thought, because I've already got like all the pretties, uh, all the ugly series, so I'd be like reading loads of the same author over and over again. I'd just be breaking it up by the other same author, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I only got the first two, which, you know what, I'm, I don't care because it was really cheap. So yeah, I'm really excited to read these, even though they've been... I haven't seen a bad review, I've seen some eh reviews on them and some brilliant reviews on them, like some people absolutely love them and some people just think they're alright. I haven't seen a review that's like awful. So I'm super duper excited to read these and I'm sure I'll like them or love them, whatever, so yeah. Um, I also got, oh god, and I got... Okay, I'll say this one first. I got Wither, which although it doesn't have a stick on, it was also three to five pounds. And this is by Lauren De Stefano. Yeah. And this is <laughs> I think that's how you say your name. That's alright, that's the only reason I did the Yeah thing at the end. Not because I'm not dying to read this or anything, because I am. And this is the first one in the chemical garden trilogy so yeah I haven't I've read some really good reviews on this and I've read some really bad reviews on this but mostly they've all been good or alright and with things like this I like to make up my own mind like I did with the switched the switched and the trill trilogy there you go so by Amanda Hocking and they turned out to be really good. So again, I like to make my own mind up. And also the cover was really pretty. Uh, and it looks amazing on my bookshelf. Even though it's huge. It's like a massive book. Look, I will compare it to this book. How weird. So yeah, I got this in three five pounds. And I am, again, excited to read this, even though I haven't seen, like, even though some of the reviews aren't great on it, I'm still really excited to read it, and the story still intrigues me, and it's still dystopian, so I am sure I'll love it. Okay, and I also bought from there, because Mum needed, Mum got... Nan a book for her birthday and she got herself a book which I will also probably read which is called To My Best Friends. I haven't got that with me. I don't know who it's by. It's like, I think it's a woman with a terminal illness and she has to give away all her possessions to her best friends and like those possessions include her husband and her children. So again, that sounds quite um, good to read. So I'll read that after she's read it. So, to go with those two books on the three five pounds, I also bought The Maze Runner, which is by James Dashner, and it is part of the, I actually don't know what the trilogy is called, I'm just going to say The Maze Runner trilogy, but I'm, I have a feeling it's the Scorch Trials trilogy. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Someone, if someone can comment and tell me what it is, that'd be great. Because <laughs> I know all the books in it, I've seen them, I just don't know what they're called together. So yeah, but again, everyone has probably read this. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm probably one of the last people to read it. But I'm still excited to read it because it's dystopian and it sounds interesting and there have been loads of great reviews and yeah, I'm just, it sounds like a really interesting story. So I'm just, I'm dying to read it <laughs> after I've gotten through like, I don't know which order I'll read them all in, but I don't think I'll read this first. So yeah, I haven't. I've seen a terrible review of it. I've seen some, again, eh, reviews of it. I've seen some good reviews of it and some brilliant reviews, so I need to make up my own mind. I just hope that it's good. Yeah, because some people say, like, the hype around it built it up in their minds and it wasn't as good as what they had in their minds. So I hope it's not that predictable and I hope it's really good. That is what I'm fingers crossed hoping for. So, <laughs> yeah. I am excited to read this. Okay, and not stopping there because it's a huge book haul. I didn't actually buy these books, but they were my brother's and he doesn't read. So he gave them to me. <laughs> okay, so I have all by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have. I. They're not together in like a Lord of the Rings book because they just came like this in a massive set so here you go I got the fellowship of the rings the two towers and the return of the king all parts of the lord of the rings book and I also got the hobbit in that set as well which I am cur I'm currently reading at the minute I am up to there page 122 and I know everyone has read these again and as a book lover it's so bad that I haven't read these but I haven't had them and my brother only just remembered about them so yeah so um yeah it's taken me a while to get through this I am enjoying it I don't want to say that I'm not enjoying it because I am it's just taking me a while because I have to be in the mood to read it when I'm reading it. I don't want to say anything bad about it because I haven't found anything bad. It's just a bit hard to... I don't know. I don't... You have to concentrate and... Because the language is a bit hard to understand, I think. Because it's quite old, isn't it? So, yeah. But it's still really good and the story is amazing and the fact that he is made up this world oh if I was that talented I, I, I don't know so yeah I got the whole of this series as well for free so that was a brilliant book haul and it only cost me £10 because I got the other one for free like the other one that my mum bought for free so it cost me £10 and I got all that so yeah it was a really good haul for me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me do this brilliant haul and again if you have any comments to leave please leave them down in the comment box and feel free to subscribe yeah if you like my videos. So yeah thanks for watching. Bye!